Welcome to another edition of the Nightly News. I'm Chris Lee here with LPNN bringing you all the news that is news and none of the news that isn't most of the time. Tonight's episode is brought to you in part by our amazing sponsors. We have Ted's Marine Supply, H&R Block right here in Page, Arizona, the Page Recreation Department, and Big John's Texas Barbecue. Without them, we wouldn't be able to bring you guys the news in real time. All right, we have a few things for you here tonight. It is election eve. <clears throat> oh, hold on a second. We've got some comments popping in. Apparently, the internet's kind of working tonight. Renee says, hello. Hello, Renee. Thanks for joining us. And Greg also says, hello. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. And thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and commenting on all of these posts. It really does help. All right, before we get into the election stuff, we do have an update. Last week, we reported on a fatal collision that occurred on Highway 89 between two pedestrians in a vehicle. We now have an update on the second victim who was airlifted to Flagstaff in critical condition. The gentleman has been identified as 57-year-old Eddie Smith of Kayenta. He has died as a result of his injuries. Our thoughts uh, go out to his family. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our election news for tonight. <clears throat> Tomorrow is the primary elections. Polling places throughout Coconino County will be open from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., so you will have an opportunity to get your ballot in and your voice heard. It also looks as if most polling locations throughout the state will be open the same hours. However, check with your county and or city elections departments. The polling, place, uh, the polling locations here in Page. Page Central 72 is over at the City of Page Townhouse. Uh, let's see, Page East 73 is at the Page Caveat School. Page South 74 is at the Faith Bible Church. And Page West 75 is at Page City Hall. Oh, hold on one second. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, oh, <laughs> Mark's giving us the thumbs up. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. All right. Remember, your polling location is based off of the address you registered to vote with. According to Coconino County, Page has almost 4,000 voters, and not even 1,000 voted in the elections two years ago. Let's get everyone who registered out there to the polls tomorrow. Remember, not only are there candidates on the primary ballot that will represent you in the state and in Washington, D.C., but there are also six out of seven city council seats available, and that includes the mayoral seat. Get out and let your voices be heard. Here's some more information. I'm going to see if I can actually pull this up because it is a lot of information. Give me just a second, and I'll see if I can't do that real quick. Maybe, possibly, oh, I guess not. Is it, is it not going to work for me today, maybe? Oh, there we go. All right. We do have a lot of things that you need to bring with you uh, for your identification. So we're going to, well, not a lot of things, but a very specific list of things. So you need to know what to bring. All right. What to bring to the polls from the Arizona Secretary of State. We're going to go ahead and pull this over here for you. When you arrive to vote at the polls on election day, you will announce your name and place of residence to the election official and present one form of identification from list number one or two different forms of identification from list number two or three. List number one, let's see if my mouse is showing up here, hopefully, maybe, nope, it is not. I apologize for that. All right, so list number one, sufficient photo ID, including your name and address. You need one required for this. A valid Arizona driver's license, a valid Arizona non-operating identification card, tribal enrollment card, or other form of tribal identification, a valid United States federal, state, or local government issued identification. List number two, sufficient ID without a photograph that bear the name and the address. You need two of these if this is what you have. You need a utility bill of the elector that is dated within 90 days of the date of the election. A utility bill may be for electric, gas, water, solid waste, sewer, telephone, cell phone, or cable television. Bank or credit union statement that is dated within 90 days of the date of the election, a valid Arizona vehicle registration, an Indian census card, property tax statement of the elector's residence, 
Tribal Enrollment Card or Other Form of Tribal Identification, Arizona Vehicle Insurance Card, a Recorder Certificate, a valid United States federal, state, or local government issued identification, including a voter registration card issued by the county recorder, any mailing to the elector marked official election material. But remember, out of that list, you need two. And also list number three, you also have to have two here. List number three, mix and match from lists number one and two. You need two of these. Any valid photo identification for, uh, from list one in which the address does not reasonably match the precinct register accompanied by a non-photo identification from list number two in which the address does not uh, reasonably match the precinct registrar. <clears throat> a US passport without address and one valid uh, item from list two. Two, U.S. military identification without address and one valid item from list two. If you still don't know who you want to vote for locally or want to refresh yourself, hold on a second, since you don't need to stare at that anymore. If you still don't know who you want to vote for locally or want to refresh yourself on who some of the candidates are, you can always go back and watch the interviews and uh, that we did on various public discussion forums. You just go to our homepage, click on the videos, and there you will find our playlists. All of our coverage of the 2018 election season is right on top in our video section if you go to the Facebook page. All right, uh, coming up, events we have here. LPNN has learned that the Arizona Office of Tourism presentation scheduled for Wednesday morning has been canceled. But don't fret. A representative from the Arizona Office of Tourism informed us that they are working with the city and other government organizations within the area to reschedule the presentation. There is just no set date as to when that will happen. All right, let's see. Let me go ahead and bring up the calendar here. Tomorrow we have at 5.30 a city council meeting. Give me just a second to pull it up. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, the city council meeting, we have, a, I'm sorry, there is a work session, actually. We'll go ahead and bring that up real quick. So there is a presentation by the Coconino County Attorney, Bill Ring, with the city council for a work session. We do not know what the topic is, as it was not posted on their website or sent out in an email. Later on that same night, there is a city council regular meeting, which has all kinds of things going on in it. Discussion and possible action by the City Council, uh, let's see, pertaining to the following. Sale of 1.3 acres along Tunnel Road, the second reading for that. A liquor license application for Steer 89. Revising the alternate trustee for the Rural Arizona Health Trust to be the Human Resource Administrator. Transfer funds from the Highway User Funds to the Capital Projects Fund. Annual Spillman System Maintenance and Support for the Page Police Department. Purchase of radio equipment from Glen Canyon Communications for the Page Police Department. Purchase of a 12 cubic yard dump truck. On-call engineering contract with Iron Rock Engineering. Amending the City of Page Code for Primary Elections, Section 30.035, to reflect 2015 changes to ARS 9-821-01 pertaining to how majority vote in primary elections are calculated. All right, uh, let's see, we have a few other things here for you tonight. <clears throat> From the Page Recreation Department, they are doing flag football registration. It is open through September 12th. They are also still taking late soccer registrations for kindergarten and grades two through eight. Uh, let's see, they have a $10 late fee until all the spots are filled. Soccer games start Mondays the 27th, which would be today. So uh, let's see what else they have here. Uh, obviously the 2008 youth flag football information. Uh, here it says, emphasizing good sportsmanship, skill development, and equal participation, Page Recreation gives youth a community-based, non-competitive program to learn sports-specific skills and play games in a safe, organized, and fun environment. If you are interested in that, we do have a link for the Page Recreation Department's website where you can sign up for those programs. I'm going to go ahead and paste it over here in the comments. Looks like, is the internet working tonight? Ooh, it's hard to say. Let's see. Oh, we got a thumbs up from David. Good to see you, David. Thanks for joining us. 
And uh, Sarah's giving us the hard eyes. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate that. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what else we have for you guys. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and do the weather really quick. Let me go ahead and pull that up for you. And then we'll cover the rest of the events. All right. So tonight looks like a low of 66 degrees. A little chillier than usual. Uh, the winds were a little gusty earlier. It looks like they'll be dropping back off to below 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow we have a high of 93 with a low of 67. With those winds just below 10 miles an hour. On Wednesday, we have a high of 93 with a low of 69. And as you can see, it doesn't look like much of a chance of rain until possibly on Sunday. But we'll have to keep an eye on that and see how that goes. All right, moving on to some more events that are coming up. Give me just a second here to pull that for you. All right, 6.15 tonight in five minutes is Zumba over at the Community Center. Tomorrow, 10.30 a.m., we have yoga over at the Community Center. At 1 p.m., we have the Pool Club over at the Community Center. Also at 1 p.m. is Bingo over at the Community Center. At 3 p.m., we have Creative Builders Club and Laptop Computers at the Page Public Library. All right, that's what we have for you guys tonight. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for being a part of the network. Don't forget, it is Election Eve. Make sure you get out there and make sure your voice is heard. Tonight's episode was made possible by our sponsors. Don't forget, if you stop by those areas, to give them a thanks from us and for you guys, because they help us get you guys the news in real time. We'll see you tomorrow on the Morning Cup. Have an amazing night, and we'll see you on the next one.